For centuries, many works of art, including those of revered old masters, have received critical acclaim for their beauty, while their violent sexual undertones were overlooked, ignored. Beginning in the 1970s, feminist critics and artists challenged that silence. Talk us through that. In the 1970s, in relationship to the women's movement, women artists and art historians began to question the fact that you would find paintings that glorified the subject of rape based on biblical, mythological, and historical subjects. And they began to question, well, wait a minute, we're looking at these paintings by famous artists such as Rubens or uh, David or, or Titian. Um, and how is it that we as art historians at that time traditionally discuss them only in terms of composition, line, color, rather than what does it mean that we're looking at a rape scene, but there is, it's glorified and the men are, are heroic. So that was raised in the 1970s. Why has it taken so long for this topic to be explored? I can only answer it by telling you the responses I've had over the years that I've worked on this project. We have a listserv for historians of American art history, and I posted on that years ago that I was writing a book on this topic, and did anybody have any suggestions about artists to consider? And one person responded, what has art history come to that you would want to write a subject like, a topic like this, which shouldn't be looked at? So we traditionally want to look at art as beautiful, we want to look at it within the, as a reflection, perhaps, of history, but it's, you know, an aesthetic appreciation. I'm not dealing with aesthetic appreciation, just the opposite. I'm talking about how these works of art are encouraging behavior that, as a society, should not be encouraged. What is the connection you see between the work of Against Our Will with the Me Too era of today. The artists that I'm addressing in my book started the Me Too movement in the 1970s. Their testimonies in the art was the Me Too movement. What began in the 1970s was uh, continued and recycled over and over and over again into the present moment. And the Me Too movement in the present moment is the culmination. You've been listening to a conversation with Vivian Freed, author of Against Our Will, Sexual Trauma in American Art Since 1970.